Digging by Seamus Heaney. Digging is a poem that resembles memories of the poet of the past, such as his father and grandfather, grandfather's types of work, which were eventually two different types of farming, compared to his present occupation, which is poetry and writing. You could say that digging has been used to describe Seamus Heaney's inspirations throughout, throughout, throughout his lifetime. However, not in the way you would expect it to be. Digging. Digging is not only the, the title of the poem, but also a word that is used throughout this poem. It's a word that sticks in your head after reading this poem. Over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, Digging. This shows his grandfather's hard work. Stooping in rhythm throughout potato drills where he was digging. This shows his father's occupation. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests. I dig with it. Here he's comparing his, op his occupation with his elders. Digging could have a lot of different meanings, such as digging in a farm, digging throughout, uh, digging to find that which indicates that you are looking for something and dig towards it. <coughs> digging towards a target. It reminds me of climbing a mountain, having to dig through all obstructions to reach something. Digging to find a target, not knowing where to dig and leaving the target open. In this poem, Seamus Heaney looks up to his elders. You can say he has written poem about his father and grandfather, as some of these quotes indicate his father. My father's digging, my, by God the old man could handle a spade just like his old man. He sees his father now old because he describes in verse 6 that he is straining to dig flower beds. In this poem, he travels in time because he says that he Powder. comes up 20 years away, which indicates that he has gone back to the past. <laughs> Two Wait. main types of what Seamus Heaney he is talking about are potato digging and cutting types. Those two types are relevant in this poem because he describes he, his child in those two occupations and what his role was during that time. Um, he roots and out tall tops buried the bright edge deep, loving their core hardness in our hands, the cold smell of potato mold. Also indicates how neat and exact his father was as the trade in these clothes. The squelch and slap of Soggy's head, the quart cuts of an edge. <laughs> Nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulders, going down and down for a good turf. The squat pen is a word that sticks in your head. Seamus Heaney has used this right at the start. Between, between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snuck as a gun. Squat is commonly used in is a commonly used word in Seamus Heaney's poetry. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, and I dig with it. He also finishes off with the squat pen. Quotes that touch you. There are techniques that Seamus Heaney has used throughout this poem. For example, the rasping sound, the gravelly ground, uh, 
It also describes how exactly the milk was carried, which helps you to imagine the situation. Once I carried the milk in a bottle, corked sloppily with paper. He has also used metaphors that connect with the op op occupation of all three men. Through, our, through living roots awakened in my head. I have no space to follow men. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? <laughs> It's a very unusual poem to choose, and because it's written in this 18th century something, um, I think not everyone would choose it. I thought it was a challenge to choose it and understood it. It's, I know it's nice. It's not written in the 18th century. It's, it's, no, 20th century. Shame is he still alive. Probably the first line of it and the last line of it, because it kind of shapes the poem, which is, let's say, between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, not as a And at the end, the squat pen rests, I dig with it. Any other questions? Yeah. Another round of applause?